Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, I'm going to go over the best Android emulator on PC. Let's get started. Now, if you're wondering why would you want to emulate Android on PC, well, there are a number of reasons, especially surrounding gaming. For example, if you've ever played a game like PUBG and you're close to the top 10 and you can't comprehend how people can aim so quickly and so well, chances are they're actually emulating the game on a PC and using a mouse and keyboard for controls. Maybe your Android phone is out of date and you can't run the latest and greatest games. Or maybe you're an iPhone user and don't have any access to Android exclusive apps. Now, realistically, I could go on for hours on why you'd want to emulate Android on PC, but let's just get down to the meat and potatoes of this video and show you how to do it. Now, if you want to emulate Android on a Windows PC, for example, there are three main options. The first one is right above me, it's Nox Player. The second one is Mimu or Mimu, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And the third one is blue stacks. All of these options are viable options. If you want to go with one over the other, it's up to you. And I'm sure someone's going to comment on this. So I'll just say it right up front. There has been rumors. There have been actually quite a few rumors about Knox, about blue stacks, about Mimu. All of them surround either it's installing malware or a Bitcoin miner on your computer or some sort of key logger or something malicious in that regard. And to my knowledge so far, if you have irrefutable proof, let me know in the comments below with a link. But so far, those rumors are completely unfounded. Apparently, they were started by a troll, a fake account on Reddit in order to cause controversy. Now, if you are worried in some way, shape or form about security of these applications, all you really have to do is create a separate email to use specifically with these emulators. That way your main account is completely protected and not in use when you're using this. You will want to restart your computer and enter the BIOS or the BIOS just to make sure that virtualization is enabled. I have an AMD Ryzen 7 and I'm using an ASUS or ASUS motherboard. Now with this, it is SVM mode and you can see right here, it is showing as disabled. If you're using a different motherboard, for example, a Gigabyte or an MSI or something like that, your BIOS will look different and your configuration will look slightly different. On top of that, if you're using an Intel chip, it will also look different. But at the end of the day, you just want to make sure that virtualization is enabled on your chip. And the emulator that I recommend for Android on PC is BlueStacks. And now if you're already familiar with Android emulators on PC, you may be shaking your head at this, you may disagree, and that is absolutely okay. I find that there is a big love-hate relationship with BlueStacks. It's a very bloated program per se, but I do find it's the easiest to use and it works the best. If you prefer Nox or Mimu, that is absolutely okay as well. Honestly, my recommendation is use what works best for you. To get BlueStacks, all you have to do is go to the website above bluestacks.com and download it. As you run the installer, you can see it is a total of 530 megabytes. Now, once you've installed BlueStacks and have it running, you have two options to do it later or sign in with Google Play. I recommend signing in with whatever email you want to. So once you're signed in and ready to go, you can try immediately running apps and installing apps and see how it works. You can also go into the settings menu and tweak a few things. For example, in the settings menu here, you can change it into portrait and phone mode, landscape and tablet mode. You can change the overall resolution as well as the DPI. So the next step for me is to increase performance just a little bit here. So I'm gonna go down to engine and I'm not actually changing anything in the first two categories. I'm going down to performance. So I have an eight core CPU and I have 32 gigs of RAM. So I'm going to switch this to high. It's going to use four CPU cores and three gigs of RAM. The next step is to install your apps. So you can open Google Play Store, select the apps that you would like to install and play them. Now back on the home screen, I can also see that this appeared, Raid Shadow Legends. I really don't want this. So all I have to do is long click it with my mouse and then click the X to remove the icon. So now I'm downloading Call of Duty Mobile to try it out. All right, so I have the Call of Duty app up and running and you can see right away on the screen all of these little dots and what those are, those are the actual controls. So I'll bring the controls over and you can see WASD for move forward, shift for sprint and so on and so forth. 
On the settings tab, there's also in-game resolution. So if I take a quick peek at this, I can crank the graphics up if I do want a clearer picture, but at the same time, it will require more processing power. And if you want to get rid of all of these little dots on the screen to show where the controls are, it's pretty simple. You just go over to this eyeball here and it says show hide key overlay. So all you have to really do is just decrease this and they disappear. All right, so right now everything is connected. I am using my mouse to control my screen and I'm using WASD in order to move backwards, forward, left and right. So obviously I have an unfair advantage against these people because I am playing with mouse and keyboard right now, which is a lot easier than using a touch screen. And just like that, I got the winning kill of the round. And I got the MVP of the round as well, partially because I am using mouse and keyboard, giving me a majorly unfair advantage. But anyways, that's all I've got for today. So if you like my video, leave a like. If you didn't like my video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Thank you, everyone. Take care.